Well, Andrea, I'm standing on Woodbridge Road right above Highway 99. If we take a look down here, you can see the floodwaters are still impacting the roadway at this hour. And this way, you can also see that there are several vehicles here, emergency crews. Caltrans has shut down Highway 99 here in both directions because of the flooding. And while some people had to evacuate, others are now dealing with what remains. I'm hanging in there, man. I'm hanging in there. Flooding leads to mandatory evacuations Monday at the Arbor Mobile Home Park in Acampo. Larry Rayburn has lived at this small apartment complex right next to the park for more than 20 years. I'm in awe with, you know, with all the stuff that's going on. It's, it's just, it's terrible, the, the poor people in that trailer park. Larry tells me previous flooding at the mobile home park has never impacted this apartment complex, but this time the flood water has seeped its way through and it's actually caused some damage. We had uh, two units up front that got water inside the units. I'm trying to prevent that from happening right here. Francisco Juarez is sweeping the floodwaters away from his unit. He's also trying to remove some of the water with a bucket. Because there's too much water and there's really nowhere to throw it. Still, he's doing what he can to protect his property. If it gets any more, it's going to start flooding into my house, into my apartment. Several side streets near Highway 99 are submerged in water, including this part of Acampo Road. Highway 99 is also shut down due to flooding. Caltrans says it's closed in both directions from Peltier Road near Acampo to Turner Road in Lodi. I'm standing here on Acampo Road in San Joaquin County where the floodwaters have spilled onto the street. The water here, I would say, is about shin deep. And if we go this way, you can see these two schools where the water is right up next to them. This is the Houston School and the Joe Cerna Jr. Charter School, again, where that water has gone through the fence and is right next to the buildings. The conditions here are why the Lodi Unified School District has canceled classes for these two schools. While some had to leave their homes, those who didn't are counting their blessings. I'm pretty thankful, believe me, because it could be worse. The full closure of Highway 99 in both directions started at about 5.30 tonight. That's because, as you can see, the flooding that is still on the roadway right at this hour. Right now, Caltrans tells us they do not have an estimated time for when Highway 99 will be back open. For now, reporting live in San Joaquin County, Orco Mana, KCRA 3 News.